Kerry Hyder. Let's give him his due, man. I mean, he's got seven and a half sacks through yeah. 11 games. Yeah, absolutely. He could finish the season with more sacks than Armstead and Bosa had last year. This guy's right. having an amazing year. Right. And the thing with Kerry Hyder that's the most impressive thing is that this D-line actually does a decent job getting pressure, especially in yesterday's game because the Rams' offensive line without Whitworth is not that good. They do an excellent job getting pressure, but Hyder is really the guy that finishes plays. He does an awesome job of it. He's been an amazing, amazing. He's kind of saved their season, right? Because I think we put them, we kind of put a moratorium on their season week two when Bosa went out and it seemed like D Ford was going out for an extended period. I was like, Where, where's the pressure going to come from? Exactly. But Harry Hyder has been a godsend for this defense. He's been unbelievable. And what's crazy about his pressure is not like it's manufactured. It's not like it's Vic Fangio like doing the tackle end stunts and he's coming no. in clean because the defensive tackle's holding a guard. No, he's just beating offensive tackles, left tackles, right tackles around the edge with power and strength and technique. Like, who the hell is this guy? I know we yeah. had a good season like three years ago, but really, who the hell is this guy? It's gonna right. be a lot of money. It's terrific. And yeah, the thing that the thing that's even better is that him and Armstead actually had a very nice thing yesterday where Armstead gets the initial pressure, like kind of D Ford style, and Hyder just comes in there and wraps up and finishes the play, kind of Bosa Armstead Buckner style from last yeah. year. I thought that was pretty sweet. Yeah, Kerry and Kerry Hyder also had the play that basically won them the game yesterday in getting them the ball back on that third down. So absolutely he deserves so much credit he's actually i think he should be a maybe in the pro bowl conversation there's too no many DMs, but he should be in the conversation i then that's the key point i think we need to start pushing this because we're the most important famous uh guys in the game right now and it's it's great to give javon kinlaw his props but a guy like Kerry hyder is not gonna get it and you know vish as a young rookie in the game what i've noticed about you is you're sensitive to players who aren't getting the media hype that they deserve. And I respect that about you. You feel that way about, you know, Daniel Jones in New York, and you feel that way about Jaquaski Tart here. And I think Kerry Hyder is just a perfect example. No one's talking about right, Kerry Hyder. Right. Let's talk about him. He's a hell of a player. He could finish with 10 sacks this season. He's really bailing the Niners out. Where would they be right now without him? Where would they be? I know. The thing How is, he wins? he's in to be a Ronald Blair replacement. And if he replaced way Ronald better than Blair, Ronald Blair. No right, if he Ronald replaced Blair. Ronald Blair right on the dot, People would be extremely happy with how he played because Ronald yeah. Blair was really, really fantastic at what he did and his role for the Niners. Well, he's been Ronald Blair times one and a half. It's mm -hmm. actually been unbelievable. He's just – I think he started off the season strong. I think his body got a little bit tired. And yesterday coming off the bye, he looked fresh. <sighs> he looked rejuvenated. And he's a hell of a run defender. Like that's, that's a given with him. He's a terrific run defender. And then he brings – what eight and a half sacks this year with that unbelievable seven and a half he's one of their best players he's actually to the point where now where we preview games like where we talk about the Niners and the Bills you got to actually mention Kerry Hyder I don't think we've ever mentioned Kerry Hyder in a pregame talk like how is this team gonna account for Kerry Hyder? you got to now and they have to it's a, it's a great story